Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific a crackling atmosphere the match i think will be quite a spectacle the stands here the corva as the locals call them make for quite an impressive sight all in support of the grand old lady of the italian game Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, Cristiano Ronaldo. I don't think there's any doubt he's one of the best around, Peter. Probably one of the best ever. He's an incredible physical specimen and a phenomenal goal scorer. You can't question his commitment and determination either. He's always in peak condition and he'll adapt his game to whatever role is requested of him. I think he's going to have a huge, huge impact on this team. Yeah, he'll be looking for a goal or two. So that's got things underway. Well positioned to make that interception. Keeper's got good distance on that. It's a throw. Bernadeschi. Bernadeschi! And it's played forward. And that had to be more accurate. Quadrado. Salfa Costa. I wonder what you've seen, Jim, over the early moments of the game. Well, I think both teams probably feel it's, it's too early for either to start taking real risks. So they're still very much in a phase of, of testing the waters and, and sizing each other up. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Zappa Costa plays it forward. And that's the end of that. It all started well enough. Durado. De Ligt gets into the right position to intercept. That's a clever movement up front. Yeah, they're playing with a, a false nine, and no one's really holding a fixed position up there. And how does that work? Well, I think it's an attempt to just confuse this defence with, with constant interchange and, and different movement. Bonucci battles to win it back. Oh, super tackle. They were outnumbered and under the cosh. That had to be spot on, and it was. Morata goes up and over. Adele tries to get it forward quickly. Quadrado. Sturado. He's got through. And Destro! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Genoa are looking quite mean on the counter, and combating that requires even more meanness. Alexandro goes looking.
Destro. Now the counter. Barami. Barami takes the long option. He's pinged one through here. Bernadeschi. That has put a stop to that. Dybala drives it forward. Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, that's nice. Dybala. Chiesa. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Lovely bit of skill there. Juventus have a free kick. Well, you might think he got off lightly. It is just a verbal warning. Perhaps the final meaningful act of the first half. Well, he has great set-piece prowess. I think you know what's coming, but stopping it, another matter. That is a bit special. Juventus take the lead. He's just gone and reminded us yet again of what a threat he carries. Sturaro drives it. Has a goal! <laughs> and the first 45 minutes are up. There we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain the momentum now and finish the job. Juventus come off having scored the only goal of the game so far. It's been tight, it's been exciting. And there is certainly plenty for us to chew on during the break. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. Juventus carrying a one-goal lead. Chiesa, Dybala, he's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled, dashing forward at pace. Piazza, Sturaro, now it's Berami, lobs it in gently. Oh, well defended, that had to be done. Surely! Morata is leading the charge, but he's having to go it alone. Fischito. Juventus are ahead here by what is still the only goal. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Just has to be done. Now it's Morata. Sturaro does well to read it and intercepts. Piazza looks to get on the end of this.
Alexandro. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, Peter, if they're attempting to see out the game with such a, a narrow advantage, there's room for trouble. Uh, I just think they're sending out the wrong message. This could backfire. And a play for a throw. Genoa have turned to their bench, and we're going to have a substitution. So we have a double substitution going on here. And it's Patel. Now the cross. Pandev shoots! And the keeper barely had to move. Pandev simply had to do better than that. He blew a great chance for me. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Morata. Cristiano Ronaldo. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Juventus are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. And it's been taken straight back. Schoener hoists it forward. And it's Patel. Pandev gets it out to the wing. Zapacosta tries to swing it in. Genoa need to give it everything they have. Kitchen sink included. Now it's Morata. Played into the middle. And in time is up, and there goes the whistle. Juventus, hold on. It's a narrow squeak, bit of luck, some judgment. 1-0 the score at the final whistle. What are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Well, Peter, I'm sure a more comfortable margin would have been preferable, but you can't expect to get your way all the time. I think it was a win earned through game management and there's absolutely